passes, the chances, the shots, the two each, I think, on target. And um, that, that penalty was massive, massive, massive. Uh, how Abdel Munayim had, you know, the real courage, but uh, it's also satisfying to score a goal from something we practiced. You know, that open Madiba goal meant so much because we worked on that situation really, really hard. And uh, big compliments. I mean, in the finish, I can't teach that. And, I mean, the, the, uh, I would I would use another word, but the, the you know to do that, you know, it takes a big pad to do that. Uh, I can not respect the ladies that are here, but uh, really, i But how, how good has he been, and Mudiba for us? Uh, uh, Tembazwani with his leadership, Tembukhomukwana, Abu Mudiba. Uh, we missed her, but today I, I can just imagine what we, we our put up skills, you know. Yes, that's 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 uh, to decide to start with uh, Lucas and uh, and Peter. How long? How long did it take? No, uh, actually, it didn't take too long. When when we when when we were told they were available, to be honest, uh, they they they. I mean, how many goals has Lucas already scored for us and goal contributions? Peter Shalulila over the years. So you, when you have those two, you know that, especially because we are struggling in this moment, and uh, it was uh, it actually didn't take us too long. No. Okay, coach. Okay, Sazia, yeah. um, we have already won the biggest prize uh, this season in Africa. How do you motivate your team now to win the Netbank Cup, the Premiership, and uh, the small change in the Champions League? Small, small change, yo. <laughs> Please, that did not come from me. I can already see the headline. <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. Uh, no, but they know. They know they'll be in big trouble with me. They, no, there'll be big issues. Um, this is a special group. Believe you me, uh, we lost in, uh, in Casablanca 2-1. We had a training session the next day with uh, a couple of the players that didn't play. And I can tell you, uh, we trained like a team that had just lost 5 nil. And uh, the mentality from Roshin Rook, Brian Onyango, Nao Maema in that training session was just unbelievable. The, and, and, and they really pushed. And this is what makes this group so special, the sense of brotherhood, their loyalty and their commitment to this badge. And, and, and don't worry. Don't worry, there will be no sense of complacency. I will not allow it. Thank you, Coach. If we may squeeze in the last two questions, there's a question of Maskepe, but we'll start with Claire, okay. then Maskepe, then we'll close. Uh, coach, um, according to you, what did the Widad lack of? Uh, we can say they were quite, on this game, they were quite invisible. Would you say you succeeded to, to asphyxiate them in the game? No, no, no. I, I would rather, I, I, out of respect for for the coach, you know, I, I mean, to answer what they lacked would be, I think, in a, in a in a little bit of a disrespectful way, and also because I think uh, Widad is a is a big football club that deserves a lot of respect apart from just giving respect to the coach. So I'd rather not speak about them. The only thing I can say is uh, commiserations uh, to Widat, uh, but congratulate them for getting as far as the final with the way they play football. And uh, the coach is a very humble guy and uh, extremely, extremely passionate about football and small interactions that we've had. So, yeah, to, to give him... Um, um, a huge uh, sense of, I think it should give him a huge sense of pride in how his team plays football and how they, they even, yeah, they tried to play today, you know, they, they did in some moment, moments especially, but yeah, um, fortunately it's not for me to judge their performance because I've also got uh, my own job to do, which is to judge the performance of Sundowns and that's still important even after the win. See, I go home now and uh, watch the game. Uh, they they were already shouting at me outside. No corrections, no corrections, no corrections because they. <laughs> so I say, but they know there'll be corrections because we always want to improve and we always want to play better, and um, that's that's our focus now is to play better in our next match. 
and last coach. one coach coach yeah 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 oh skip that yes coach congratulations on uh, thank the, you sir the trophy the obviously the champions league remains the not looking down on this one but the champions league is the holy grail of african football for clubs when you look at your team you know uh, petrol knocked you out the other day the other season there was a lahli now there's we that all the teams that have knocked you out of you know you've beaten them and this brings about expectations in the champions league from the fans and also these clubs are looking at you what are you looking at to do better from this competition from the semi final against we that in the champions league last season to be a better team and the signings that you have made what have they added that you think can be beneficial I'm talking Lucas Tapelo in the Champions League. What are you looking at to say this will help us in the Champions League? Whew. It's difficult, Maskebe, because <clears throat> um, it's uh, the I when we took when we took uh, Abdel Munayim to play left back, uh, everyone said, "Oh, but what is what is Gulani trying to do?" You know, a lot of criticism, but. But it's there's there's a reason behind the madness, you know. So some of the things we do, we try to to look at how we have to improve, where we have to e get better. And uh, sometimes it's about personnel. Sometimes it's about it's about small tweaks in the in the schemes, you know, to find familiarity. And then you've got a preseason that is so important, and then you st you do you find a way of 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 finding. Uh, comfort for the players, and then then you are you are you are a little bit uh, derailed, or the progress is 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 slowed down by injuries. You know, when you when you have Sibanku starting so well, Lucas starting so well, Peter then and and Lucas starting to build some form of chemistry, and then there's certain movements that we were looking for from 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 Maseko in relation to. Mm, Alende and Tebza and Tembazwane and then they start to get injured and, and you lose uh, and then Rivaldo also because because he plays such an important role they call him in the change room they call him the system because he's got such an important role in, 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 in our organizational forms and our movements and um, so it's very difficult to answer because because they haven't they haven't really settled, you know, uh, and they need to be given a little bit more time. Uh, you saw even last season how long it took for Marcelo Allende to settle on the on the continent with understanding the physicality and the, and the, sometimes the the hostility and, and and the conditions around. So it took it took some of our new players quite some time, but but they'll come right. They've got so much quality and they are such good human beings. And and I'm sure that Mendieta, Maseko, Unku. I mean, Obas, I mean, Obas, we've missed him already. He was settling in and playing, already starting to adjust to certain things on how we want to play and and uh, first position in, in his, in, in the build-up phase, second position once we try to progress the ball. And, uh, but yeah, he also now also suffered an injury and we've missed him a bit. But yeah, good. Let's see what happens um, as soon as they come back, and then we try to reintegrate them. But a fantastic group of players, amazing. Uh, I I hope I haven't missed any one of them out because uh, they really they really are a special group. And I've always said to them, I love them so much, and uh, in me they have a brother for life. Thank you. Yeah, it's difficult. As I said, it's very difficult to, because we have to improve our performances just generally. And to improve our performances generally, we need all our players available, you know. So so uh, it's, 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 it's only about that. Before, before even thinking about whether it is Champions League or PSL, or it's, 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 it, there is that clear understanding that we, we, we've, got to, we've got to get better. And we know we have to be, get better. Uh, and it's difficult in this moment to play every two, three days with the traveling and, and, the, and the accumulation of fatigue. I mean, I mean, this you, you, you see in the PSL, I watch, I still watch PSL games. I see coaches are struggling with the injuries, players, uh, and they, they don't even have the burden of traveling and, uh, you know, going to, to, to the north of Africa and still being able to balance different programs. 
and and you, you see how difficult it is for them and they also speak even in their press conferences how difficult it is for them to maintain a certain level of performance and so that's what makes this achievement even 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 sweeter uh, and and as i always say to you guys i don't think you guys give enough praise to this group of players i, I really don't when when i when I listen to, to when we go, go to Cairo, the amount of respect this group gets, when I, in, in Morocco, the amount of respect this group gets, not just from, I mean, um, you should hear what El Moti, the goalkeeper of Wida did after the first leg said to me about this team, that was, was incredible, the coach. And as I said, uh, Infantino, the, the president of, of FIFA, he said to me, this team plays unbelievable football and we are still not satisfied. We think we can play better and we know we can play better and we will play better, we will improve. But the difficulty is we, we don't have training days. Now Now is, is FIFA break. Uh, I lose a couple of players to, to the national teams and um, then I've got to give a bit of a break to the players because it's been extremely hectic. And uh, so there's no, <laughs> there's really, really there's no training time, and that's why preseason is so important for us. But but yeah, let's see how we we go, uh, Skepe, and 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 step by step, try to to focus on the next game. Thank you, coach. Just before we let you go, if we could just get a quick photo moment with the trophy, uh, and then we.